In this video, I'll show you how to use Zap with BTC Pay Server for Lightning. So we have a few other videos that show you how to set up uh, Zap with BTC Pay and other clients, but this video aims to show you how to use Zap with BTC Pay. So first, if you go to the docs.btcpayserver.org, uh, there's a Lightning Network guide. And the first thing you see is a warning about the experimental stage of the Lightning Network. And it's important to familiarize yourself with these risks because in BTC Pay, there is no backup for LND or C Lightning keys. So your keys are in a hot wallet. So just be aware that if your BTC Pay server or machine crashes, you will lose all your funds. If your server gets hacked, they can access your funds by accessing your keys, um, etc. So just don't put in more money than you can afford to lose because there is a risk and just keep that in mind. So you are being experimental by using this. So first, if you are launching a BTC pay server for the first time using Luna Node, uh, you just go to launch btcpay.lunanode.com and use your API ID and key, and then choose your Lightning implementation here, and then launch your VM, wait for it to sync, and then you have your BTC Pay server instance running. Now, if that was too fast for you and you want the step-by-step -step on how to launch a server, uh, watch the one-click web deployment video. It goes into detail for each step. And if you already have a BTC Pay server launched, like I launched this a few days ago, so if you go to server settings and services, if you don't have Lightning and you don't see any mention of Lightning here, you can add Lightning um, after creating your instance. So I'll show you how to do that very quickly. Um, what we need to do is we need to add an environment variable for Lightning. And we can do it pretty easily by entering some commands into um, our SSH virtual machine. So first, so first we want to SSH into our server at the domain and asking about our fingerprint, yes. Uh, now we need our password, which I'll get. So once you've SSH'd into your virtual machine, we want to log in as root. and change directory and here's where we can run our commands so export btc page on lightning lnd And then we run the setup script again. And we can see that it's now installing LND for us. So this takes a few moments, not very long, but I'll pause it and come back. Okay, so we can see that our LND has finished uh, installing on our BTC Pay Server instance, so now we can use LND. So if we go back to our BTC Pay Server, we can refresh, log in, And now we can see that we have LND with gRPC, REST, Ride the Lightning. So we have all the LND services. And so now to connect using Zap, uh, first you want to download Zap. So if you go to zap.jackmallers.com, uh, you can see this website here. 
and there should be a download button you can get it for your operating system and so once you have that downloaded can open zap and first you'll see a screen like this so in this case what we want to do is connect to your node we don't want to create a new wallet we want to connect so make sure you choose this step next it wants our connection string for our LND node which comes from BTC pay so we can get that from our server settings and services page in BTC pay server and zap uses gRPC so we do see information click show QR code and we actually need to do show QR code information and open the configuration file Let's copy this and we will paste it here next are you sure you want to connect next and now our node is connected to zap so we can see with the green light that our node is synced or active we don't have any money in the wallet because we've just created this first thing we want to do is we want to fund our wallet with on-chain funds so we click here and this is your btc address for this node so uh, if we want to pay or put funds onto this node or in the wallet we need to pay this so i'll do that with another uh, wallet first okay so i've sent money to this address and close that refresh and you can see the funds that i've sent now appear and you can see these this is an on-chain transaction i just sent it so it is unconfirmed and it is for two hundred and fifty thousand satoshis so uh, we need to wait i believe for at least one confirmation before we can open a channel but we first need to find someone to open a channel with so let's look for some other lightning node to connect to so now our zap has three confirmations for our on-chain payment so we can go ahead and try to open a channel and we can try to open one with btc pay server by pressing donate, generating an invoice, and then we go to the copy page. Oops, we need to choose lightning, of course. Go to node info and copy that. And we'll try to open a channel with BTC pay server. So first we go to channels and create. You can see Zap has suggested nodes on here that you can open channels with, but we're going to paste the key and IP or onion, whatever you're using, uh, with the amount. Maybe we will do uh, 100,000 Satoshis and since we're doing a demo, maybe we'll do fast, but you can change the speed. And here's our current on-chain balance. And next. And we want to confirm. Yes. So channel opening initiated, channel successfully created. Okay, so this is now pending open. Uh, this remote pub key here and this node is the btcpayserver.org node and we have a local balance that's pending uh, with that node so while we're waiting um i will waiting for this to pen, be not pending anymore i will open a channel to this node from my other lightning node so the way we do that is we go back and we can click here profile 
and this shows our the node pub key for this node that we just created. So I will just scan this with my wallet and open a channel to this wallet. Okay, so I just opened a channel to this node. So we will go to manage and refresh and now you can see. Um, the one where we sent it uh, to BTC pay server is of course still the local balance here with this uh, channel and then the new channel has a remote balance and this is from the node that I have created previously and I just connected to this node so you can see the different amounts we can receive and send here so we will wait for these channels to be no longer pending and then we can make some payments <laughs> 